Hello everyone, Well Starbursts here, and welcome to the third episode of my Minecraft building tutorial series, Creative Mode. If you don't already know about the series, I will be explaining the elements and principles of design, such as shape, color, contrast, and the like, and how they can relate to building in Minecraft. Oh, and I'm using the Voxelbox Palcyon Texture Pack throughout the series, and at specified times I will also use the Voxelbox Organics Texture Pack. This time around, we're going to add an element to our list. This is the element of space. Learning how Minecraft goes about rendering its 3D environment is important, but it's even more useful to know how to manipulate it to give your build a certain effect. To fully understand how we can use space to our advantage, it's good to first learn how Minecraft creates the illusion of space on what's really just a flat screen. Firstly, as things go farther off into the distance, their color seems to fade and become a lighter value. Minecraft already does this with a view fog. We're going to take a look at the town of Elvir by Lore, and the adjacent mountains, which were terraformed by Naralas. You'll notice that from the village's point of view, the mountains are just at the edge of where the fog begins. This means that the colors on the mountains are less intense, and that the mountains therefore seem to go further off into the distance. Scale is the second way that depth can be made. As things go further off into the distance, they also become smaller. The buildings and the layout of the town are rather small and intricate, but just off in the distance there are some comparatively large mountains. Even though the mountains are not actually much taller than the tallest building in the town, the view distance fog makes them seem as if they're further away. Because you believe that the mountains are far away, you would also think they would appear to be smaller than normal, but the mountains are actually a regular size, which makes them seem especially large and tall. We're now going to learn about the main way Minecraft creates three dimensions on a flat surface using something called linear perspective. Everyone can draw a simple cube on a piece of paper, but this doesn't look like a very realistic cube that we see in Minecraft. You'll notice that all of the lines on one face of the cube are parallel to its opposite side. We don't often see this effect in-game. Instead, Minecraft uses what's called Linear Perspective to render its environment. Linear Perspective has three main components, the horizon line, vanishing points, and your head height, which will adjust the horizon line's value on the y-axis. In real life, the horizon line occurs when you look off into the distance so far that the Earth begins to curve back around. Because of this, your line of sight just goes straight off into space. This is why the sky always looks like a backdrop when you look out over an ocean. In Minecraft, the horizon line occurs right around where your chunks stop loading when your view distance is on far. Some multiplayer servers limit the amount of chunks you can load, so you may not be able to always see your accurate horizon. Alright, so let's draw a horizon line on this piece of paper for the sake of an example. It's just a simple line right across the page. Now we can still draw our derpy cube from before on here, but it will look just as odd. So, instead of just drawing it randomly, linear perspective uses vanishing points. If you look at a picture of a long railroad track, it seems to thin out and disappear as it goes into the distance. This is due to linear perspective. Let's draw a simplified example. Let's say the two lines represent a road. You see that along the horizon line I placed one dot, which represents our vanishing point. All the lines that go off towards the horizon meet at this point. Let's draw a simple sign now. You see that I draw all the lines necessary to make it, but then erase the parts that I don't want. This ensures that the lines of my sign stay consistent with my linear perspective. With one vanishing point, we only had one dimension that could represent depth. If we add another vanishing point, then both the z and x-axis can represent depth. So here we draw the edge of our cube and basically just connect the dots, erase a little bit, and then finish the cube off. You'll notice that this example looks a little more like Minecraft. Now, back to the mountains. You'll also notice that the mountains scale down in terms of their width very well in respect to the village. If we were to draw out lines of perspective according to a watchtower in front of the town, you'll see that these lines more or less encompass the width of the mountain range. In this picture, our vanishing points are at the end of where the chunks render. This is clearly demonstrated on the left side of the picture. But on the right side of the mountain, our vanishing point is off screen. Our third perspective line will more or less go straight up into the air, but if we were to draw another line which vanishes at the point to the right side, you'll see that it too encompasses a portion of the mountain, its height. Not only can the element of scale help you while terraforming, it also plays a key role in Poffingway Grove, a project led by Koopo Koopo. Like most organic builds, Poffingway Grove is built on a macro scale, as if you were an ant compared to the large and silly figures that are scattered about. Building in large scale enables organic builders to add more details to their builds, which really helps bring them to life. Space can also be used effectively on the interior of a build. Let's check out the Mechanicsburg Mall, built by Stuart Tillier in the Voxelbox Modern Texture Pack. Its interior space illustrates how a large and open area can make a build seem much more grandiose, although as a result, less cozy. The interior space of the mall consists of one large room, which is separated into three tiers where shoppers can walk by stores that are located in the smaller rooms. 
The resulting effect of this vast space are awestruckness and amazement, and they were all intended when the build was designed in order to emphasize the impressive scale of it. Another member of the Voxel Box, Luna Omi, built an interior space with just the opposite effects. She furnished her apartment in one of the skyscrapers of Protel to make it seem more cozy and homely. She used very tight spaces in her interior. You'll see this especially clearly in the floor plan. There's almost never more than a few blocks of space to walk through, but this crowdedness, compounded with the warm wooden tones of the walls and floors, makes the apartment seem just that much more comforting compared to the Mechanicsburg Mall. Even though these two builds utilize opposite interior spaces, each build is successful in its own way, and for its own reasons. Stuart Tillier was never trying to make his mall seem like a cozy place to live, nor was Luna trying to make her single-story apartment seem as if it were an extremely impressive shopping center. No one technique is better than the other. It all depends on the context and application of it. And lastly, I'd like to mention an attribute that can greatly increase the appeal of your interior space. Most interiors in Minecraft, even some of the higher quality ones here on the Voxel Box, have floors that are flat and relatively planar. Great interiors, on the other hand, tend to utilize the third dimension of space, the y-axis, in their floor plans. For example, let's take a look at the interior of Brent's house. As we move around it, we find that there are variations in the height of the floor plan. Such a floor plan enables a viewer to have their point of view constantly changing, in a way that they're not used to. Again, most of the time your point of view is just moving along the X and Z axis in Minecraft, although taking advantage of height in your interior can make for a much more engaging and interesting product. And these were some helpful uses of space that can hopefully aid you in your creative building experience from now on. Thanks for watching.